What's going on, folks? Once again, I'm Ned from the Riot Review. We got uh, a little bit of stuff going on in Portland. Portland Wall of Moms crumbles amidst online allegations by former partners. If you get any organization going long enough, you'll definitely run into issues. And if you don't take care of those issues quickly, uh, things can fall, things can uh, degenerate. And after a certain point, you know, I love zombie movies, but there's this part of the zombie movies where everyone's safe. And then you got to figure out how you're going to, to live with the zombies out there. And you're going to live in here and keep everyone safe and your justice system and all that stuff. And it seems like the riots had about that point. Anyways, ultimately what this article is getting into is the issues that the wall of moms have within their own group the wall of moms whose members have said they aim to support and protect black lives matter protesters near the fence and front lines of the federal courthouse announced friday that it's uh, that its white leadership had rescinded their position to allow women of color to be in charge once again this isn't about black lives matter anymore I'm, I'm not saying that as anyone who's part of it. I'm saying that as an observer. You can just freaking tell that Black Lives Matter just isn't in charge of what's going on here. Black Lives Matter has been hijacked by anarchists. Ultimately, oh, look at this. Look at this. But less than a week later, Don't Shoot Portland took to Instagram to urge people against supporting the wall of moms, saying it's no longer working with the moms. Nope. It's just, uh, it's just anarchists now. They've hijacked the Black Lives Matter, unfortunately. Uh, this is a big picture going around, all around right now. Super califragile, racist, sexy, Nazi, potious. It's interesting that I'm hearing a lot about fragile, fragile whiteness and whatnot. I mean, everybody gets to be fragile except for white males. That doesn't seem very inclusive. Anyways, another situation like what I was talking about, uh, the Riot Ribs. Riot Ribs was started up, and Riot Ribs was uh, run by protesters of the Black Lives Matter, at least supporters of the Black Lives Matter. Anyways, Riot Ribs was an institution on the front lines that would feed people in protest, feed people really good food. And they've been running into a lot of issues, like other people claiming to be riot ribs, uh, ultimately problems within the protester sphere, not within the police sphere. The police is something they can deal with, but they can't deal with other people acting like they're them. They can't deal with the with some volunteer stealing from the tip jar and uh, tormenting some quote unquote customers. They're making all kinds of money and the money will be distributed back to the community after they have closed but they definitely are closing up. Riot, Riot Ribs is dissolving completely. We have someone who is trying to profit off the movement who continues to volunteer in the park pretending he's involved with Riot Ribs. So they don't want anything to do with it. They're moving out of it. It's the kind of thing where uh, low tide has come. High tide came, it was really popular, and everyone is out there supporting the cause, and then low tide came, and you see all the junk left over, and they, maybe some of these people were protesting with aren't the nicest, they aren't the greatest, they aren't the greatest individuals. Next on, we're moving on. This is a transgender woman that was picked up uh, by the police in New York. Now, the, the thing about the feds picking up people immediately from vans is really creepy. But if you're dealing with homeless people, you can't go to their home and pick them up. You have to pick them up on the street, which is uh, a little bit sad, definitely a little bit unfortunate and uh yeah he she wears that dress not so shabbily not so shabby she she wears it nicely i think so anyways in my opinion i think what's happened here is the portland protesters decided they needed to calm things down a little bit especially due to that escalation that was uh they were using ieds which is basically the same as terrorists Terrorists, yes. Anyways, they go from Portland to Springfield. And, uh, yeah, they bring their signs up. But why Springfield? I don't get it. Anyways, they, uh, they take on the... They take... They take on the police and lose pretty quickly. I guess they thought since they weren't dealing with the feds that they wouldn't have to worry about anything. But, yeah, they actually passed the barriers. That's the word I was looking for. They passed the barriers and got their butt kicked. So then later, they're trying to get out, 
but uh, the pro-Trump supporters won't let them out. They are pissed. They definitely meet up with a lot of issues from people from Springfield. They're trying to leave, but they're not allowed, it looks like. I want to get more information about exactly what's happening, exactly what's going on here, but the protesters definitely aren't uh, being appreciated by the locals are definitely having problems leaving and they have to cry and get the police to get help to let them out the same police that they're uh arguing against you know uh, you don't want the police you want to abolish the police well these are some of the issues that you're going to have to deal with you want to defund the police once again these are the problems that you're going to have to deal with you've burnt it down there if you burn it down and this kind of stuff happens how are you going to build it back up can you build it back up after you burn it down and you got to consider this stuff before you burn it down like maybe maybe america isn't the best maybe north america isn't the best but uh you know what take a look around take take a look around the earth like it might not be 100 percent, but there there ain't a whole lot of other countries that are doing it much better now healthcare. yeah we definitely got health care locked down here in canada is there issues with it yeah but the issues that we have with it are nowhere near as bad as they are in the states so there definitely are some things that can be changed but there are ways that you deal with this stuff and these are not the ways the antifa idea of burning it down and uh, not going through the standard means not going through the standard ways of doing things so so one evil i definitely see going on in the world is i'm going to bring this to bitcoin now with bitcoin the idea was that we weren't going to have to worry about the banks anymore we weren't going to have to worry about the banks at all because we would be doing this stuff ourselves and we wouldn't be as bad as the banks we wouldn't be as greedy we wouldn't be as bad we wouldn't be as money hoarding as the banks but you know what we became that bad all the evils in the banks came to bitcoin and cryptocurrency and stuff like that so when you try to change the world you get the same kind of problems when you try to change the world through the standard means you still get corruption you still get bribery you still get all of that stuff but you don't want to know what when you try to burn it down this way you still get that kind of stuff you still get bad people trying to take over you still get bad people trying to tear down what you're doing it's just a different way of doing things and it's kind of hilarious and here they have to get the police's help in order to get oh out. portland's coming back next time Deal. anyways folks that's it for me never from that tech but like and subscribe if you like the stuff i'm, I'm going to be here until this is over i don't think it's going to finish anytime soon anyways folks that's it for me have a good one take care of each other